penalties to decide it. Kevin Hibbert stands between the sticks. He will come face to face with Tivoli's goal scorer in regulation time, Daniel Watson. And Watson hits the left upright. He says sorry. It's a disastrous start for Tivoli. That's definitely not the start they had in mind when they sent their captain to go and take the first penalty. But that's definitely the dream start for Haile Selassie. They'll be starting from in front if they convert their first penalty here. Jareen Selvin, one goal this season, his penalty is saved as well. It's level at zero after one penalty apiece. That's a good save and even after the ball still could have went in, floated up and hit the crossbar and both teams have missed their first penalty. And we're, as we're started after one penalty apiece, it's nil all in this penalty shootout. It's Dorman's chance now for Tivoli. He steps up and converts confidently. Shaheem Dorman had a really good game in that central defensive midfield position. Stepped up for his team and he calms nerves with the first conversion of the night 1-0 Tivoli and now the pressure is right back on Haile Selassie it's going to be Sudre Hepburn their defensive midfielder Hepburn hears the whistle he steps up and converts with a plum 1-1 just the way you want it done straight down the middle made up his mind early you can see and once he made up his mind he was never deviating and it paid off in the end it's so now a center back's turn to take a penalty Charleston Williams for Tivoli Gardens high They're number 16. Hubert well poised. Guess the wrong way. But that was expertly taken. Beautifully placed. And Tivoli back in front. 2-1. Sometimes you wonder why centre backs take penalties, but when they can convert like that, you definitely see why. Good penalty by Charleston Williams. Jawan Payne. What a season he's had for Haile Selassie. And that is a player with tremendous confidence. No hesitation. It's 2 2. Shakura there seems to be a little bit. Disappointed that he didn't save that, but he wasn't too close to that one. Jawan Payne finding the corner. And as he's done most of the season, has been reliable for Haile Selassie High. 2-2 two -two after three penalties apiece. That squeezes through. And Tivoli ahead. Definitely wasn't the best of penalties. Amari Aro came on as a substitute. And gives them the lead. 3-2 in the shootout. Was pretty close to Hibbert. He would be disappointed he didn't get a hand on to that. Real pressure now. 
handles it. Handles it very well. The Haile Selassie captain, Dimitri Burton, made a few mistakes in the closing stages of the match. Didn't cost his team. No mistake in the shootout. It's through a piece. If Tivoli can score here, they'll have one hand on the trophy. Oh, that's coolly done. That's calmly done. They lead 4-3 in the shootout, Tivoli. And Haile Selassie will have to score the next one. Shane McIntosh, their left back with a coolly taken penalty. And now, Haile Selassie must score, or else it will be Tivoli's cup. Haile Selassie, do score. Joshua Jawar, ever reliable. And he does not let his team down. He very rarely does. And it was a calm penalty. He puts his hands up. He says, team, I got this. Now we're into sudden death penalties. Ryan O'Neill Francis came on late for Tivoli, a four-goal man this season, has the responsibility of trying to keep his team ahead. That was sweet. That was really sweet. And the pressure of the world, the pressure, the weight of trying to lift this cup right back on Haile Selassie. And it's going to be Janai Lawrence, their second top scorer for this season so far. Nineteen years old, oldest on this team. And he shows maturity in putting that one away. Lost his mother a few years ago, Janai Lawrence. His father has pushed him on. And here he is in the Walker Cup final, delivering a penalty that levels the score at 5 all for his school as they hunt a first ever championship. Stepping up is Deshaun Tate. The 17 year old center back. Tate squeezes it through. And Tivoli stay in front. Kevin Hibbert again, probably a little bit disappointed that he couldn't keep that one out right under him. Wasn't the best penalty in the world, but it gets the job done. And Tivoli back in front. And now the pressure is back on Harris Lassie, it's back on. No, it's now on Tyrese Francis, second half substitute, the number 10. Came on in the 72nd minute. Can he convert? He can't! It's 
the 72nd minute substitute Tyrese Francis who fails to convert a comfortable save for Shakur Adir and with that with that Tivoli with the Walker Cup for the fifth time in their history and you see what it means to the school this shot Kylie Selassie players, tears flowing for them. So close, yet so far for Haile Selassie. But it's Tivoli. A school not unaccustomed to being on these stages. But their last title came in 2005, 17 years ago, less dramatic, that 1-0 victory over Calabar. Tonight they are pushed to penalties by a determined Haile Selassie unit. But in the final analysis, it's Tivoli left dancing, water champagne pouring. Sabina Park belongs to them for now. Lieber Talliman, a championship winning coach many times over with Excelsior High School, part of the management structure of this Tivoli unit, and he celebrates with them. Heinle Selassie really pushed in that second half. Both teams missed their first penalties, but Tivoli recovered brilliantly. Kevin Hibbert, who had kept so well in regular time, had a couple of penalties where he will think, I probably should have done a little bit better. But it was Tivoli who stayed calm, who stayed composed, who showed great quality from the spot to secure the Walker Cup title for the 2022 season. What a finish at Sabina Park. Well, let's go back through it. Daniel Watson, the goal scorer in regular time, started off for Tivoli and he missed. So too did Jareen Selvin for Haile Selassie, well saved by Shakur Adair. But from there, Tivoli were perfect. And Haile Selassie, they were very good too, Janine Lawrence. This was the final conversion by Tate. And then the 72nd minute substitute, Tyrese Francis, could not convert. And Tivoli ran off in celebration of a fifth Walker Cup title. On the lights at Sabina Park, they shine brightly. 6-5 on penalties after a one-all scoreline at the end of regulation time. Well, let's find out who the player of that thrilling contest was.